In computer vision a camera matrix or projection matrix is a matrix which describes the mapping of a pinhole camera from 3D points in the world to 2D points in an image. Let be a representation of a 3D point in homogeneous coordinates, and let be a representation of the image of this point in the pinhole camera. Then the following relation holds. Where is the camera matrix and the sign implies that the left and right hand sides are equal up to a non-zero scalar multiplication. Since the camera matrix is involved in the mapping between elements of two projective spaces, it too can be regarded as a projective element. This means that it has only 11 degrees of freedom since any multiplication by a non-zero scalar results in an equivalent camera matrix. Derivation the mapping from the coordinates of a 3D point P to the 2D image coordinates of the point's projection onto the image plane, according to the pinhole camera model is given by. Where are the 3D coordinates of P relative to a camera-centered coordinate system, are the resulting image coordinates, and F is the camera's focal length for which we assume F greater than zero. Furthermore, we also assume that X3 greater than zero. To derive the camera matrix this expression is rewritten in terms of homogeneous coordinates. Instead of the 2D vector we consider the projective element and instead of equality we consider equality up to scaling by a non-zero number, denoted. First, we write the homogeneous image coordinates as expressions in the usual 3D coordinates. Finally, also the 3D coordinates are expressed in a homogeneous representation and this is how the camera matrix appears, or, where is the camera matrix, which here is given by, and the corresponding camera matrix now becomes. The last step is a consequence of itself being a projective element. The camera matrix derived here may appear trivial in the sense that it contains very few non-zero elements. This depends to a large extent on the particular coordinate systems which have been chosen for the 3D and 2D points. In practice, however, other forms of camera matrices are common, as will be shown below. Camera position, the camera matrix derived in the previous section has a null space which is spanned by the vector. This is also the homogeneous representation of the 3D point which has coordinates, that is, the camera center is at O. This means that the camera center cannot be mapped to a point in the image plane by the camera. For any other 3D point with, the result is well defined and has the form. This corresponds to a point at infinity in the projective image plane. Normalized camera matrix and normalized image coordinates, the camera matrix derived above can be simplified even further if we assume that F equals 1. Where here denotes an identity matrix. Note that matrix here is divided into a concatenation of a matrix and a three-dimensional vector. The camera matrix is sometimes referred to as a canonical form. So far all points in the 3D world have been represented in a camera-centered coordinate system, that is, a coordinate system which has its origin at the camera center. In practice however, the 3D points may be represented in terms of coordinates relative to an arbitrary coordinate system. Assuming that the camera coordinate axis and the axis are of Euclidean type, there is a unique Euclidean 3D transformation between the two coordinate systems. In other words, the camera is not necessarily at the origin looking along the z-axis. The two operations of rotation and translation of 3D coordinates can be represented as the two matrices, and, where is a rotation matrix and is a three-dimensional translation vector. When the first matrix is multiplied onto the homogeneous representation of a 3D point, the result is the homogeneous representation of the rotated point, and the second matrix performs instead a translation. Performing the two operations in sequence gives a combined rotation and translation matrix. Assuming that and are precisely the rotation and translations which relate the two coordinate system and above, this implies that. Where is the homogeneous representation of the point P in the coordinate system? Assuming also that the camera matrix is given by, the mapping from the coordinates in the system to homogeneous image coordinates becomes. Consequently, the camera matrix which relates points in the coordinate system to image coordinates is a concatenation of a 3D rotation matrix and a three-dimensional translation vector. This type of camera matrix is referred to as a normalized camera matrix.
it assumes focal length equals 1 and that image coordinates are measured in a coordinate system where the origin is located at the intersection between axis X3 and the image plane and has the same units as the 3D coordinate system. The resulting image coordinates are referred to as normalized image coordinates. Equals the camera position equals, again, the null space of the normalized camera matrix, described above, is spanned by the four-dimensional vector. This is also, again, the coordinates of the camera center, now relative to the system. This can be seen by applying first the rotation and then the translation to the three-dimensional vector and the result is the homogeneous representation of 3D coordinates. This implies that the camera center lies in the null space of the camera matrix, provided that it is represented in terms of 3D coordinates relative to the same coordinate system as the camera matrix refers to. The normalized camera matrix can now be written as where is the 3D coordinates of the camera relative to the system? General camera matrix, given the mapping produced by a normalized camera matrix, the resulting normalized image coordinates can be transformed by means of an arbitrary 2D homography. This includes 2D translations and rotations as well as scaling but also general 2D perspective transformations. Such a transformation can be represented as a matrix which maps the homogeneous normalized image coordinates to the homogeneous transformed image coordinates. Inserting the above expression for the normalized image coordinates in terms of the 3D coordinates gives. This produces the most general form of camera matrix. See also, 3D projection. References, Richard Hartley and Andrew Zissiman. Multiple view geometry in computer vision. Cambridge University Press. ISBN 0-521-54051-8